This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Back to the lobby. Oh, I love this music. In the field, un interpersonal relationships resemble the interlocking of pieces in a puzzle. In order to form a coherent larger picture, the players fix every piece into its place. I move according to their instructions, take the position they designate for me, and carry out the tasks they assign to me. In many cases, the players prepare a number of spare pieces as insurance against the unexpected. The pieces in question realize that they're expendable and are prepared for the possibility that they may be used as sacrifices. I always hated watching as people were sent to their deaths, but I also understood the rules of the game we were playing. Pawns aren't allowed to move on their own selfish impulses. The first priority is always to win. It's probably because I've spent so long in that sort of world, but friendship has become a mostly theoretical concept for me. The word rings a little hollow in my ears. Not to say that I'm skeptical of its existence, but to me it seems like uh, almost like something out of a magic show. Show me two people swearing, we'll be friends forever, and I see some TV psychic bending a spoon. <laughs> Makes me want to pull back that curtain they've set up around their feelings and see what's really going on in there. How the trick really works. Oh no. Stop drinking that juice! As usual, Michiru is gulping down that bitter soft drink to maintain her vitamin C intake. If she's that determined to keep up this absurd daily dose, wouldn't taking supplements be more efficient? I don't know, maybe she's doing this for attention. There are pills that contain daily supplies of a wide range of vitamins. The idea would be to get everything you need from your meals, but that would involve eating buckets of vegetables daily, which is not easy to keep up. It isn't a great way to become completely dependent on pills for your nutrients, but I don't think there's any problem with using them to complement your diet. Incidentally, Michiru... <laughs> Why don't you just take supplements? If you want to keep up a regular vitamin C intake but you don't like sour things, wouldn't it be easier to just take a multivitamin tablet? You, you do know what multivitamins are, right? Okay, cut the- Hmm, maggot, I'm asking you a question. Why do you torture yourself by drinking this stuff when there's an alternative? <laughs> Alright, this is gonna backfire on her, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think that's true. Oh, Almost certainly the water. Are you saying that your body is composed of dry sand? I, I feel like your logic is broken. Help, brother. I get the feeling you'd end up in an infinite loop if I let you keep going here. <laughs> oh man, she's got the best sprites. I, I like this smug smile from this angle. Oh no. Are these sour skittles? Or warheads? Amine takes out an airtight plastic bag filled with powder. Although I didn't have her <laughs> although I didn't have her down as a drug trafficker, this is pretty suspicious any way you look at it. <laughs> What's that? Heroin? Hmm. Hmm. Amine, you're, you're cruel. 
きなわけじゃないんだけどな。Hmm. Still, you've had this chance to challenge the sourest of the sour dropped in your lap. Might as well give it a shot. Eh? No! A veto, eh? Alright, l you don't have to try it. I'll go have a go instead. Sour fiends tend to be good for you, after all. Well, except when the taste is the result of something going rotten. Amine, you didn't grind up spoiled meat to make this, right? Then I'll try it. Are you trying to poison us? Sit tight and watch, Amine. You understand, Michiru. If you're not going to take this, I will. Here goes. Oh no. She's way too easy to manipulate. Michiru rudely snatches the plastic bag out of my hands and pulls the twist tie off that was sealing it shut. Oh boy. Try too hard to play the Sundere and you'll end up as nothing more than a predictable contrarian. Michiru pours the stuff from the bag into her mouth, gulping it all down as though it were antacid powder. Well, rip Michiru. Girl's basically the female Sunohara, but like actually kind of sympathetic. <laughs> oh no, this poor girl. Here you go. I passed Michiru the 100% vitamin C drink she'd been working on earlier. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> you said any drink at all. That was the closest f a i n at hand. I don't know, did, was it you or me who just ate an entire bag of pure vitamin A powder? Hey, Blame! <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> well, yeah,、uh, different visual novel now. <laughs> Why are we torturing this girl? <laughs> we are the biggest trolls. <laughs> We're trolling you, that's why. Sure, Amine. Oh, that is true, she did say that. <sighs> oh, no. I feel so bad for Michiru. I bet her ton is destroyed at this point. <laughs> hey, Michiru, we're all having a warhead eating contest later. Want to join in? <laughs> Winner gets five bucks. I see. I have no idea why you're so stubborn about not using supplements, but if that's your way of doing things, I'll keep my opinions to myself. Foods to avoid? You're talking about that superstition where certain combinations of dishes supposedly cause some terrible side effect? It's mostly just a bunch of old wives' tales. Just stop with the braggadocia personality, Michiru, and you might be my favorite. Hmm, sour stuff. I guess they clash with salty veins, so the bad combinations would probably be stuff like eel or pickled plums. Why would you eat pickled plums? Supposedly, you'd get pretty severe indigestion. 
物によっては含有されてる栄養素を打ち消しちゃうこともあるみたいだから避けた方が無難っちゃ無難だけど。Hmm. Learning from the wisdom of the ancients is all well and good, but I wouldn't get too hung up on myths like that. Even that famous legend about durian fruit and alcohol causing some fatal reaction turned out to be a load of crap. But why are you asking in the first place? Planning to start cooking? So, so you look at all my kid. I'm the one I am. That's why 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 I'm the one I
Well, the most common turn would be Imaginary Friend. It's a fictional companion that lives in solely inside your imagination. Pretty typical in childhood. Some people only make one, and some people dream up a whole cast of characters. Although they'll usually drop the idea as they grow up. I've heard some people keep their imaginary friends around even into adulthood. Imaginary friend. Although Michiru listened carefully to my every word, it doesn't seem to have been what she was looking for. Her shoulders sag in disappointment. That was weird. Uh, yes. I guess some people have long conversations with their dolls or stuffed animals instead. Oh, that a fact? So what's reality the way you see it? This conversation took a turn. Michiru folds her arms and closes her eyes. After a long moment of thought, she stands up straight and delivers her answer. Judging from her dramatic delivery, Michiru must have thought that it was a really impressive line. Sadly, her audience is less than responsive. There's a moment of awkward silences. What kind of a question was that to ask her? そうね。道ちるには難しい質問だったかもしれないわね。道ちるさま、わからない時はわからないと言ってくださいね。そうすれば、風見さんも最初から質問しないはずです。ちゃんと頭数から外していただけるはずです。わお。風見さんは頭数
Pico. Anyway, I like people who are easy to work with. I guess that's really the only thing I'm looking for, to be honest. As long as they don't get in my way, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Maybe. Sometimes I think tools make better partners than human beings. They have a clear purpose, you know? Makes them a lot simpler to deal with. You have a weird worldview. Yeah, I don't think so either. Didn't mean to imply that. I'm just saying that tools tend to be... reliable. Once you've used a piece of machinery enough, it's practically become a part of you. A simple extension of your body, and that does what you need. The more affection you give a tool, the more smoothly it operates. A tool won't betray you. Not often, at least. Sorry, gone a bit off track there. To put it more simply, I don't think I've ever really had something you could call a best friend. We've been discussing friendship for a while now. Not that the concept has gotten any clearer for me, but at this point I realized that one person has stopped participating in the conversation. A certain bottle blonde is slowly taking her distance from the group in our, group in our friendly chat, her face growing increasingly gloomy. Aww. Her usual energy's vanished. Wonder if something's wrong. Yeah! You guys just verbally abused her for the last half hour! I can see beads of sweat for, uh, forming on Michiru's forehead. Maybe her stomach's upset? Hmm. As she demonstrated just a few moments ago, the girl isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. Wow. Can you lay off her for, like, two seconds? As she is an idiot, apparently not. It wouldn't be surprising if she ate food off the ground and found herself in intestinal distress. Yes, I can easily imagine the girl stuffing her cheeks with unidentified berries she found on some bush. I take a good, careful look at Michiru. Hmm, indeed. This is the face of someone who'd go scavenging in the trash cans when she got a little hungry. <laughs> Just knock it off! This isn't funny. No, my mistake. She probably doesn't even have to be hungry first. We are the worst. I just can picture her plucking some tasty-looking colorful mushroom off the ground and chowing down without a second thought. Idiots are such a handful. Perhaps she wandered down to the beach, spotted a crab, chased after it while drooling, and then found herself under attack from a jealous... M I have no idea what that word is. Makloch! Coveting the same prize? Honestly, does this woman have no sense whatsoever when it comes to her hunting and gathering? The OST is really good in this game. Just entering a wild monkey's territory is dangerous. What kind of a fool goes so far as to try to steal their prey? Come to think of it, crab-eating machos don't even live in Japan. Did this girl wander all the way to Southeast Asia in search of something tasty to stick in her craw? A craw? <sighs> this is just too much. I have to say something. <laughs> I abruptly jump off the sofa and drop my hands on Michiru's shoulders. Oh, that's weird. Everyone flinches in surprise, but I pay no mind to their stares. I keep my gaze firmly focused on Michiru as I speak. It's amoebic dysentery. I'm sure of it. Don't worry, I have some experience with this. You were bitten by a crab eating macha, right? Try to learn from this experience. Stop scavenging for food for the time being. Don't get me wrong, I'm not criticizing you for the thought. After all, pouring, uh, procuring food from your environment is the most crucial and fundamental of survival skills. I'm very proud of you for trying, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love the- oh man, she, she really has the best faces. That said, your particular actions in this case were mistaken. You acted rashly out of ignorance. But there's nothing to be ashamed of. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. And... I sharply turn to face the rest of the group and raise my voice to a harsh shout. Let me just warn the rest of you right now! You don't have any right to look down on Michiru just because she's caught amoebic dysentery. This could have happened to any of you. You're going to learn from this mistake. You're all going to learn what plants are edible, which are poisonous, and how to avoid savage monkeys. I don't want you crying to me for help when the Japanese islands are covered in jungle. No. No. What are you? Alright then. First things first. I'll be accompanying Michiru for the moment. 
Come on, we're going to the bathroom. I need to get a good look to confirm my diagnosis. You so are not. Hmm? You were scavenging for food, right? Hence the infection. I think Yuji's the real idiot. Then what's with the sweating? Your face is pasty and you've got a nasty beads of perspiration in your forehead. You sure don't look healthy to me. Amine, watching Michiru and me with concern, enters the conversation. Not in the least. She's suffering from brutal diarrhea. No, you completely made that up. Even if you don't have dysentery, we need to properly identify the problem. Whatever infectious disease you've caught, we'll need to take the appropriate countermeasures, understood? Not necessary, Sachi. There's a possibility she's still infectious. I probably have more experience dealing with this sort of thing than you. I don't like where this is going. Come on, let's go. Listen, maggot! How many times do I have to tell you not to make light of dysentery? The small things are what get you. You change your socks regularly when you're in Vietnam, and you always treat diarrhea with the proper respect. You... wow. This is not the Oregon Trail. Hmm, you're awfully stubborn. But anyway, this illness sure came out of nowhere. You looked fine until we started talking about best friends or whatever it was. <laughs> Listen here, Bob Saget! Michiru's face fills with pain, and she clutches a hand to her chest. In the next moment, she's leaning heavily against the wall, as if to keep herself from falling to the ground. What's wrong? Are you in pain? Wait, is it your chest rather than your stomach? Is she actually okay? Normally, chest pain is something we should be responding to immediately, but it seems that this is a familiar occurrence for Michiru. She has the most information, so for the moment I'll have to trust her judgment. Alright, if you say so. But don't overdo it. If it feels worse than usual, you let me know right away. You've got gutsy on Sundere. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if, like, her... Because our conversation with the principal made it pretty clear that, like, every person here has some... Not something wrong with them, but, like, reasons for being here where they can't be at other schools. I wonder if hers is, like, she has, like, very frequent, like, heart attacks. Or, like, maybe mild heart attacks. Fumbing herself lightly on the back, Michiru slowly settles her ragged breathing down. In the time, the beads of sweat on her forehead disappear, and the expression of pain on her face fades away. I see. I tend not to trust sick, pe sick people when they tell me I'll be fine, as a general rule, but I guess sometimes the person in question does know best. Anemia. I don't think anemia typically causes chest pain. If you've got a chronic illness, I think it'd be the best if, uh, if the people around you knew enough to react appropriately in an emergency. But if you're that opposed to the idea, we can write a memo and stick it on your forehead. Hmm. If you insist. Well, that was weird. Oh, 
This is good. Everyone's happy. Oh boy. Why do you have to act like royalty? もう戻ってきた途端にさっちゃんにメールなんてすっかり元気になったみたいね。元々ちょっと貧血だっただけよ。レバーをショックせば問題なす。それじゃあまた盛り上がっていくわよ。そんなに盛り上がるような話してたっ